if I wanna upload a file to Box, why do I need to go to Box? Why do I need to know Box exists if I'm a user? Why do I need to have training in all these different systems and where to go and URLs? Why can't I just go to the place I know students are gonna be, whether that's a content management system, learning management system, what have you, and drag and drop my file and get asked, would you like this to be saved somewhere? With Hacks, since it's in one page, you can identify the things that you wanna use. So if you wanna use images or if you wanna upload a video, do you want to have um, the text or the transcriptions on the page? You can upload all those pieces uh, easily. Would you like this to be presented as a link or an inline PDF or whatever? Instead of right now where you have, I got to go figure out where to place this file. I got to set permissions correctly. I need to know enough HTML in order to make it show up. All the things that I'm going to be judged on if I'm a faculty member that I really shouldn't need to know. They like it more just because they can be part of that process, whereas before some things were a little bit harder for them to use because they're not as comfortable with the technology. A lot of times once they were done writing content, I kind of moved on my own. We can kind of do this collaboratively um, just because the technology is a lot easier to use. What used to take, say, three or four steps now takes one because it is all in that one kind of page format where you can select which pieces you want to use. So we really ultimately don't want people going anywhere to accomplish the thing they want. The future of our authoring experience will basically be people click once and do the thing they want and then forget about it.